one of the uh, interesting aspects of the tennis, as I mentioned, Alvin was very keen on it, and he he used that um, as as a release from his work. Uh, he often said that without uh, tennis, maybe at the end of the day, he would sometimes have a hard time getting through the day. And uh, he would play all year long in the winter, and so in sometimes on very cold days he would call up uh, three other people to get him out there in the doubles court. And uh, uh, I can remember playing a number of times on days when I would just as soon have stayed in bed. <laughs> <coughs> Go ahead. Well, there's an interesting story about this fellow who came to interview for a job at the lab. He was quite qualified. He had his PhD in engineering and everything. But Alvin asked him, do you play tennis? And this fellow looked, he said, oh, that's a sissy game. <laughs> and that was a mistake because Alvin hired him just so that he would show him that tennis was not a sissy game. <laughs> <laughs> and this fellow, he turned out to be really good. I think he, you know, he had played before, but <laughs> so I don't know if they ever played together, but uh, he played in the leagues and he was a good player and... Maybe he changed his mind about the sissy game. 